Okay, welcome to the PsychoPy tutorial for how to add in sound as an indicator of a correct or an incorrect answer. Uh, I'll be using the Stroop test to um, give an example. Uh, this tutorial does assume that you already have, in this particular case, a Stroop experiment or your own experiment um, ready to go. So to start off with, I'll just talk you through some of the elements of the Stroop. So you can see down the bottom here we have a single block. Um, and a, a looping of trials. This first text element you can see starts at one second, is on screen for three seconds. The color of the word is set by the dot color variable, which is set to every repeat. And the text is set to the variable known as word, which is also set at every repeat. The bottom text element is a fixation cross, you can see this here. This is on screen for one second and starts at zero seconds. And finally you have the keyboard response. If we click on this, we can see that the allowed keys are down, left, right and up. And the start time is at one second, which is the same as the time the stimulus will be appearing on the screen. If we click in the trials, we can see that our conditions file is conned one. So now if we go to the Stroop folder, if I show you on the desktop, conned one, along with our the rest of our files we need to run the experiment. Opening conned one, you can see here is the variable word and all of the items in this column. So there's four red, four blue, four yellow, and four green. The color they'll be appearing in, so there's one red word which will appear as red. There's one red which will appear in the color blue. There's one red which will appear in the color yellow. And there's one red which will appear in the color green. And that is the same for each of these. And there is also a column for the correct response. So we're saying here that whenever the color red is, is the color of the font, you should press the left key. Whenever the color is blue, you should press down. Whenever the color is yellow, you should press right. And whenever the color is green, you should press up. And then this cycles through for the rest of the items. So back in PsychoPie, we now click on the keyboard response. We click on store correct. We type in dollar correct. So this is because in my Excel file the header was titled correct. So this will now read in what the correct answer for each stimulus shown will be. So we save this. And then if we want to be able to give some feedback to a participant to say if they're doing the task correctly or not, we need to insert a new routine. I'm going to call this feedback. And then if we put it inside this same loop, if we now click on feedback, if we click on custom and then this code component. So at the beginning of the experiment, I'm going to create a list of audio files equals correct ding .wav and incorrect buzzer .wav. Okay, so now the variable known as sound file in position zero we have correct ding.wav and in position one we have correct incorrect buzzer.wav. Then if we go back to the street folder we can see these are here incorrect ding uh, correct ding incorrect buzzer. And back in our code component. At the beginning of the routine, if we say if key underscore resp two dot core, 
So this is saying key if the keyboard response to dot call is correct, if keyboard response to is correct, then if we say sound equals sound file in the zero position. So as I've just said, the correct ding is in sound file position zero. So whenever the keyboard response for two is correct, you'll get a correct sound. Else, as in otherwise, so if the keyboard response is not correct, sound equals sound file one. We then need to add in some an audio element. We get rid of the stop duration, get rid of the start duration, change the sounds to set every repeat, put dollar sign sound. So this will play the variable known as sound. And here we've said the variable known as sound, if the keyboard response is correct, will be whatever is in the sound file zero position. And if the response is incorrect, then sound equals whatever is in sound file position number one. If you're wondering where I'm getting key underscore resp underscore two from, back in the block, you can see it's labeled here keyboard resp underscore two. So if we change the name here, we then need to change the name in our code component. Save it. And now let's see if we run it, if it will work. Well, there you are, you heard it. Fortunately, the program keeps crashing on this particular computer. But there you have it, a working feedback response through sound files in CypherPy.